Hello and welcome back, Alexi Grampion here, hope you're well. Today I got a video on the review and demo of my new diagnostic tool that I would like to share with you. So this tool provides you with full system diagnosis on your vehicle, depending on the type of the vehicle, but it connects to every single system that you got on it. It will talk to you and obviously get the full codes, live data and all the special functions. So this provides you with up to 16 different service reset functions and special functions as well. It also comes with many different languages. And the best thing about this, you don't really need a computer. All you need is your phone, which is pretty sure everyone got either Android or iPhone or a tablet. All you have to do is obviously download the app from the internet that I'm going to show you today. Register the tool, put the serial number and activation code and depending on the subscription that you got, obviously you'll get your functions and different manufacturers. But all that is going to be in the description below as well. And I'm more than happy to answer more of your questions for that. Just comment below. So you also got great features like active test on this tool, which is brilliant to find out the issue with a certain component or activate it or the system as well. The other thing is for more professional use, you got ECU coding, which is great. Like I said, that will depend on subscription that you got, uh, but you can find out that on their website and also in my description below what the difference is. So what the, the other thing that I would like to talk to you about is the uh, vehicle report. So you got the whole report of the car and thanks to that, obviously when you got some phone codes, you can also use the live chat that they got on the app, which is awesome. So if you got a specific phone code and you're stuck with it, they know what to do. You can also have a live chat with people on there. They're obviously technicians or just someone who's trying to fix their own car and you can get the help that you need. Obviously if someone had the same issue, I think that's brilliant that they're gonna share the information with you or even you can share your information with other people help them out so this still also covers up to 115 different manufacturers and that will include the hybrid cars and fully electric cars like teslas which you think is awesome having all the new vehicles on the market that will be covered with this tool obviously like i said it will depend on your use if you're using it as a professional or if you're using it just to fix your own cars at home or family vehicle you can opt for different subscriptions you can choose just one make and subscribe to that for the year and that will be a lot cheaper than having a full license. So speaking about the 16 different reset functions, some of them are the common ones are like DPF regen, up reset, which is awesome uh, because that is a very common issue, including the EGR reset as well. When you install the EGR, you will have to reset on some vehicles. So you got things like ABS bleeding as well, especially for the hybrid cars like on Toyotas. Uh, if you got air in the system, it's a real pain to bleed it out. You will have to use a uh, diagnostic computer to plug in and open the valves as well. So you got like convertible roof reset for Audis A4, A5. They do suffer with some common problems on that. And it will need a reset. And you got um, tire pressure, uh, sensors reset, you got air suspension reset as well function for especially like Range Rovers, throttle body learning, injector coding. So yeah, there's plenty of different functions that are awesome. And I definitely recommend having a look at the list. Like I said, I'm gonna have this in the description below and you can have a look on their website. Right, so this is the app that you're gonna need to download on your Android or your iPhone, depending on what you're using or your tablet. So Sync Direct Plus, because they have got a few different apps Obviously double check for your tool if it's the correct one. So obviously once you download it, you can open it. Obviously you have to register, create an account, and you're also gonna have uh, your serial number on the tool and activation code that's gonna come with the tool. So find that. You have to input that in there, in my device, which is what I have to do now. I just wanted to show you. Obviously uh, you have to go into activate, you find your serial number, and activation code on your manual that you got in the box. So once you put that input all everything in there, it activates and obviously depending on your subscription, uh, you get the functions that you obviously paid for. So today I'm gonna to use my VW Scirocco 2012 at two liter TDI as a vehicle obviously to test the tool. And I'm gonna unplug a few things under the bonnet to see if it throws the full code and obviously if the tool's gonna to find what the problem is with the vehicle. Right, so while we're here guys, obviously each vehicle is going to have a diagnostic socket in different place. So this one is located in a cutout there 
and so far this is the only kind of not bad but the only issue that i found on the reviews is that on some vw's in some other vehicle not many actually uh, they found that the uh, actual socket doesn't fit in the cutouts but most of the vehicles you will have the access to it but this is not the end you don't actually have to take the plug off there which is still easy to do anyway uh, all you have to do you can up get the upgrade unit which comes with the extension cable they can plug in here and it's a smaller socket that obviously will connect there anyway so that's plugged in you can see the connection there green light and all we have to do now is obviously turn the ignition on i'll leave it there Right, so I got my car outside, so we got a bit more light here, and obviously got my app open. It's connected to the Bluetooth. What I want to say is, uh, don't forget to disconnect your phone from your radio unit uh, when it's connected to it, because I had to do that. Because if not, it causes interference with the tool, and it wouldn't connect to the tool. So don't panic if it hasn't connected. Just shut the app, open the app again, turn the location on as well. Uh, so you can either have Wi-Fi on and off, or like your internet on and off. If you got it on, obviously you can have a live chart. If not, some of the settings are not um, working. But obviously the main ones that will work without the internet, which is what I'm doing here. I've turned off the internet at the moment. And obviously I'm going to connect to the tool. So if you look there, I'm going to run the vehicle as well in the same time so my battery doesn't go flat. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this now. There's plenty of different stuff you can do. So as you can see, it's connected to the power. It's green. Uh, what's going to happen, I'm going to turn blue when the Bluetooth starts connecting. So we go into all systems. I'm going to show you the phone a bit closer. And Volkswagen, and it should start flash. There you go, starting going blue. So it's flashing blue now. And it's starting to connect. You get the message in your phone saying the diagnostic software has started. And I can see that it's loading all the data now. So I'm going to zoom in to my phone and show you what functions we got now. Right, so this is what I think is pretty cool. I've got the car running outside the workshop. My phone is connecting here to the Bluetooth. Uh, so I'm just gonna connect to the tool now. Allow it to connect. So you can see it's connecting to it now. Hopefully you can see uh, the phone properly there. That it's focusing well. So it's started diagnostic. And because I downloaded a little app uh, on here called uh, Auto Decode, i finding the VIN now without going manually looking for VW. This makes it a bit quicker. So as you can see, I found everything now. I got the reports there, so I can go to health report. It's connected to my car now, and like I said, the car is running outside, so it's pretty cool. So if you go to health report, you can get the whole report on the whole system. It takes uh, a couple of minutes to scan everything, obviously, especially for the first time. You've got a system scan there as well. System selection, if you want to do it quicker, go to a specific, like if you know they got the engine issue, you can go straight to engine. It'll connect it because like I say, if I'm gonna start showing you every single setting on here, this video is gonna be like an hour long. So it's connected to it, comes up with win, and there you got read DTC, obviously you got no DTCs there. Uh, you got the actuation test, which is brilliant. Different functions there, as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, each card's gonna have different functions on it. Uh, you got the long code as well, you got live readings, you got plenty of stuff here, guys. It's, crazy how many things you can do adaptations as well injection correction values it's brilliant there's so many different things that you can do on here uh, you obviously got the special functions like i said the service reset brake pad change uh, steering angle battery uh, dealership code which is brilliant function as well there airbag reset so like i said plenty of different stuff on there health report like i said it will take a while I'll do it and speed it up for you. But what it does, it starts scanning every single component, every single system on your vehicle. And it saves the report online as well for you. So obviously if it's your vehicle, you're gonna have it saved off for the customer as well. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be settings that you can uh, pass the information or print it off to the customer. So like I said, this will take a while. I'll leave it scanning for now. So as you can see, going through it, it's finding all the systems on the vehicle and it's saying there's a fault code with something because like I said, I've done a few bits to put the codes on and it's finding them now, which is brilliant. So it's obviously working well. There you go guys, it took less than two and a half minutes, which I think is brilliant for the full scan. And there you got the uh, DTCs, obviously the issues, they can go into each model and find out. They can check all the others, obviously get into them through there as well. 
So you've got report there, and you also got the function for quick clear DTCs, which is brilliant. So if you go into one of them that showed the issue, you know, connect to that module, give you all the information, and you can read the DTC there. So like I said, guys, there's plenty of stuff that you can go through, lots of things to do. If you've got any questions, please comment below, and obviously check out the website. They're going to put in the link in the description below. So you can find out all the information you need and find out if this is the tool for you. And yeah, please let me know if you want me to do any different displays. And like I said, I will be doing more videos in the future on this anyway to show you more different settings. Right, so once you finish with the vehicle, uh, you can now go to reports and you will find obviously your last report. For that, you do need to be connected to the internet, guys. And you can find it there, obviously, what was scanned. So I just done a quick scan there, all the vehicle information, and you can have all the settings there. I just done a quick one, I didn't go into all of them. But yeah, you'll find all the information of everything that you've done on the vehicle here. And obviously in the history, you've got all the connections. This is what I've done today, connecting to my VW, and go back into it as well. Right, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed the quick video on the review and demo. I try not to make it too long because there's a lot of stuff you can obviously uh, see on the settings and I can show you lots of different things but I didn't want to go through every single thing if not the video is going to end up taking hours. I had lots of fun today, I probably spent like 3 or 4 hours with the tool and it's awesome, lots of different settings, lots of different stuff, it's impressive how much you get in this deal and like I said uh, I'm going to put all the links in the description below if you need any more information do have a look at the main website and obviously you can comment below let me know what you think about the video and the tool and if you got any other questions i'll be more than happy to help you out with that and yet yeah, you'll see more videos on this tool in the future as i'll be getting to know it more and doing different cars i'm probably going to plug into the Celica there as well and try all different brands as well to see how it's going to cope with them but i'm pretty sure according to the reviews that i've seen so far it's a brilliant tool and it will work on them like i said it will depend obviously on subscription that you got but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.